Hello and welcome to another video. This is Pete from Nispin.com and today I want to show you one of the programs that I created that I use to help me out in my online selling business. I call this program Price Tracker and what it does, it saves me from having to go out, analyze products that I'm either selling or looking to sell in as much as collecting price data, sales rank and things like that. I get this program on my machine, I set it up, set it off running and just leave it on my machine running day in day out and it goes off and collects lots of information for me so I can analyze the products that I'm looking to sell or I am selling. So how does this work? Well I'll start off at the beginning. Let's get some Amazon products that we want to look at and I've got a web page up here. I've just gone into any any old search category. I've chosen toys I've used these little square brackets to let me paste through lots and lots of toys and I've filtered down and I think I've gone to something like um, geography toys. Here we go, geography. So I'm just going to pick a few um, product ASIN numbers from this page and then I'll save them into a text file. So let's just get six. Now hopefully we'll get a mix of sellers. Here we've got um, an FBA seller, fulfilled by Amazon. That's being sold by Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me. This is merchant fulfilled. Excellent. We've got a nice mix there. Another FBA seller and Amazon. Okay, let's take these six and I'm going to save them into a text file. So all we need to do let me just bring across my little text editor is I'm just going to save the ASIN from the URL. So I'll move this over to one side. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's just copy that, pop it in. And I'm placing each ASIN on a brand new line. So lots of people, when they're searching for products, you know, they'll get the ASIN. Maybe they'll scroll down. Down here, have a look at the product information and get the ace in there where you can just copy it straight from the URL. I'm sure many of you are used to that. Let's get this one and then one left. Okay. Now, what I need to do now is I've got my list of ASINs here. I'm just going to save this as a text file. Save it to the desktop. I have a folder here that I'll save the files into and I'm just going to call this input. I can call it whatever I like. Okay, so let me minimize that. And what I'm going to do is open this price tracker program that I've created. Now there's nothing fancy about this. It just does a small little job for me. Let me bring it into view. And um, what this is going to do is go out well, first of all, it will read in the file that I've just created with the list of ASINs and then it will check Amazon on a regular basis telling me what the price of the product is, the sales rank and the seller. And it will do this as often as I like. Once I set it off running, it can just keep running for days and days and days. So let me show you. I'll open this file that we just created and um, I'm using Amazon.com here, so I'm going to change this to US. I sell in the UK as well. And then it's asking me, where do I want to save the results of this? So what I'm going to do is say in this folder again, and I'll call this output.txt. And that's it. There's a, not really much more setup on the input and output of files. All I need to do now is tell it when I want this program to run. And you'll see here, I've got run on schedule. So what I'm gonna do is come up to tools to choose scheduler. And this, oops, it's opened on another window. This allows me to schedule this program to run whenever I like. Now today is the 21st of August, I think, yep. So we're here. So I'm just going to double click in any one of these cells. 
and I'm going to choose this get Amazon data event no need to explain what that is it's just how I program the thing um, it is 940 at the moment so as a demonstration I'm gonna say I want this to kick off at 941 I want it to repeat and I can say how often I want this to repeat now I normally set this up to run once an hour because as we know Amazon changed their sales rank information normally on an hourly basis so I normally just stick one in there per hour and it creates a schedule for this program to run but for demonstration purposes I'm going to choose minute so I'll, I'll say run this once every minute choose OK and now if I scroll down here you'll see it's set up all these different individual jobs that are going to run one minute apart now I think time has moved on let's have a look it's 941 already so I'm going to edit this and make it run at 942 instead oops that looks okay okay so the job is is set up to run all I need to do is click that button and that's it I can minimize this and leave it running on my computer day in day out and it'll just go ahead and pick that information from the Amazon website and save it into a file now why do I do this well like I've said I, I want to capture the information about these products that I'm either looking to sell or I am selling but I want specific information to allow me to make buying decisions replenishment decisions whether I need to reprice the product that I'm actually selling and this allows me to get more detailed information than I can get from Amazon Seller Central because this is going to show me every single hour for every or in our case minute <laughs> for every single product that I have in my input file it's going to tell me the price it's going to tell me the sales rank who the seller is and it's going to save it all into a CSV file that I can either bring into Microsoft Excel um, Google Docs something like that and analyze that information so as you can see it's already kicked off the first one has kicked in and what it's doing it's going and taking a look at each of the product pages that I had listed here and it's trying to capture that information if there are errors on the page it'll just skip it and it won't capture any data for me but it worked pretty well I run it in the uh, I, I just let it run on the machine and it seems to just work day in day out doing this job for me it's a lot easier than me going on to Odesk to find somebody to do this sort of menial task for me and um, I guess these are my little little outsources <laughs> so if this is something that you think might be of use to you I want you to have this program as well I've included a link below this video um, give it a click and it'll release the download for the actual um, price tracker program you can just download it onto your machine set it up just as I've done in this video and see if you can make use of the data now what I'll do I'll pause this no I won't let's open the file as it's running at the moment so if I come to this text file you'll see it running in the background have a look at the output here you go you can see it's actually capturing the information for the ASINs that I had listed we can see it cycled through once there we go there the uh, the six ASINs and first of all it for some reason failed to pick up some price information I don't know why that was but then the second time it picked it up and now it looks as though it's starting to run through again maybe yeah there we go so if I click away click back onto this it says the data is updated I'll choose yes to reload and there we can see it's going back around again picking up the information now because I'm running this once a minute the information is probably going to be the same all the time but running once an hour or if you want every two hours six hours once a day something like that um, you're gonna see these differences in price and sales rank appear and that will help you determine uh, a couple of things if you need to reprice 
Um, but also, it gives you a real good feeling for how often um, sales rank changes or how much sales rank can change if a product doesn't sell. But also, if a product does sell, again, it shows you it shows you that change in sales rank. Um, and you'll, you'll begin to understand in different categories of products what a 20,000 sales rank means in this toy category. You'll get a feeling of, well, if this is where um, the sales rank sort of stays, I know it's going to be selling maybe two items a week, three items a week, five items a week, something like that. If it's one of these items where it'll pop down to 20,000 and then it'll slowly drop off to maybe 80,000, you know it's one of these slow sellers. So you'll know you'll need quite a good margin if you want to stock some of those and, um, and make some money of them. But, it, you know, make use of this tool however you want. You can interpret the data however you want. You get the output data in um, CSV format. So you can bring it into Excel. You can create a nice Excel chart giving you, you know, nice line charts, plotting sales rank or price information, one under each other. And it will just help you help you run your business, I guess. <laughs> so um, go ahead, go grab the tool. And I'd love to know what you think of it. So please leave a comment on the actual web page where you've downloaded this. And if there are any bugs in it, let me know. I'll try and fix them for you. And if you've got any ideas of tools that you think will help you in your business, let me know. I might have some tools that already exist that I can send you. Or maybe I can put it on my to-do list and create some more tools that will be useful for everyone. So that's about it. Let's click away. Let's update it again. And we can see it's brought some more information in. Now, the last thing I think I need to do is really explain what the data items are that we captured in this output text file. So very quickly, the first column is showing you the ASIN. The second column is showing you the date and time that we've got the information. The third one is the sales rank. Then we have the actual price on Amazon. And then there's a gap on this one, but that is the shipping price. If we go up to this one here, we can see it's 99 pence. Then lastly, we have the seller name. So this will indicate to you who's selling this item, who your competition is. So if you bring this information into Excel, they're the column names that you need to add. Okay, take care and I'll be back soon.